Hello good people and welcome to Excel Hacks for Productivity. One trick, two minutes to learn hours saved every day. In this short video, we'll learn how to create a dynamic drop-down list in Excel. So in this example, I'm preparing a schedule and I need to input a group name here and out of the group, the members of that group will be selected from a drop-down list. To my left, I have these four groups with five names each. So for each row or for each record, when I put in example the East group, I want the next column, which is column K, to show me only names that are under the East group. So I can select them from a drop-down list. On this see how we go about this so the first thing we're going to do is to name the cells that contain the names for each group next cell you can just highlight a range of cells so here i've highlighted this range of cells i want to name this north so you come to the name box and then you type in the name so what happens is anytime you call north, the range of cells will be selected. The faster way to do this is to create the names from a selection. So I have selected these names, including the headers. When you go to formulas, in the define names group, you see create from selection. So you are basically creating the names using the headers. So I'll create from selection, this pops up and we are only creating the names from the top row. So I'll uncheck this and you click OK. So what this means is that I have South as a name, East and so on. Now what I'm going to do with these names is to create a drop down list. Now. In the group section, I'm going to first create a drop-down list with only the four group names. And this is how you create a drop-down list. First, you select a range of cells and you go to data. In the data tools, you see data validation. When you click here, you click data validation and this pops up. The faster way to get here is Alt-DL. You press the keys one after the other and I'm choosing a list. The source of this list is these four groups. So I click OK. So now I have the four names here. So what I want now is when I choose South, only these names should pop up. So the last drop down I'm going to put, I'll highlight a range of cells, Alt DL, and then I'll do list. And then my source, I'm going to use a function. Function is indirect. So indirect, you give it the name south, which in this case references all the names under the south group. I'll take off the absolute referencing and I'll click OK. So what this means is that when I click south and I drop this down, the south names pop up. When I change this to East, only the East names pop up. So when you do this, you avoid a lot of errors in your entries. Please practice and add it to your list of Excel tricks. For more of these short videos, you can send add to this WhatsApp number. who we'll add you to our broadcast list. We send videos directly to your Mondays and Fridays. And visit our YouTube channel, Excel Hacks for Productivity. All our old videos are here. Please click subscribe for notification of new videos or give us a like on our Facebook page. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.